Hi, how are you? It's uh, me, Squid's Got Jeans, and it's it's been a while since I posted anything, but it's been really cool. You guys have been really supportive, and I got to 100 likes on SoundCloud, which is totally rad. I'm really excited. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a requested sound. It's like a, kind of abrasive sound. It's like, Rrr! you know what I'm saying? I, I gave a preview of it in one of my other tutorials, but I will show you how to make this requested song. And it's the first song you hear. Like, I'm going to play the song. Take a listen. Okay. Well, this is one of my unreleased songs, and... I might release it probably later today. I'm not sure. I gotta come up with a cool intro. But here is the song I want to teach you how to make. Isn't that? It's really weird, but it it's a requested sound. And when it, when you play it together with everything, it sounds really cool. Okay. Now here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna. I'm I'm only using massive. That's it. And I messed around with the EQ. Look at that bass boost. Yeah. Okay. So first, open up massive. <clears throat> and what you're gonna do, I'm gonna walk you through this. It's good. It's, it's kind of complicated, but I think you can handle it. You guys are advanced. So, uh, as you can see, it's like you wanna. I'm gonna show you how to make it my way. But when you record it, like on your program, you wanna hold the key down for just a second. So, because like, if you hold it down longer, it's just I don't know. Okay. Anyway, here's how you make it. Okay. You're going to pull up Millefant or whatever people pronounce it in digital hybrid. And then you're going to turn it to bin positive. Okay. You're going to make sure the amp is all the way up. Make sure this is in the middle and to turn the intensity to about like, a, I don't know, like seven o'clock, eight, ten, nine. That's like nine, about nine. Yeah. Nine o'clock. And then you're going to put this about 2, 3, 3, well, about 3, as you can see. <clears throat> and what you're going to do, you're going to click envelope 1, and you're going to assign it to the middle here. And you click on that, and then you're going to drag it. See, it's going to be, make sure it's all the way down, and it's going to be on your left-hand side. So not like this, but like this. Okay, you see? And then click envelope 2. Bring it over to the pitch thing, click on it, and then put it up at a positive 24, okay? That's that's good for this. And make sure your oscillation is on, obviously. And, t uh, and then for your second oscillation, use something similar, except you're going to do 30, 30 throat. You're going to go to bin positive. Make sure the amp's all the way up. Make sure the intensity is all the way up. Make sure this is in the middle. Put this at about, I don't know. What what does that look like to you? Like a eight o'clock or seven thirty? Yeah, we'll put envelope one in the middle, but instead of doing what you did here, putting it on the left, you're gonna put it all the way to the right. Okay, and then um, you're going to put envelope two in the pitch thing and make it a positive twenty four. They're very similar. These two are similar. There's like minuscule changes about them, and uh, I don't know what's. I don't know why I had that. What is this? Let's, I'm, I'm curious to see what it does. You can use, I don't know, like I, I apparently I put on Scrapyard. Oh, that's okay. You can use, oh, uh, okay, that sounds better. I I don't know. Well, it's your choice. It's not necessary. You don't have to use Scrapyard, but if you want to, if you think it gives it more of a boost, just put on Scrapyard, put on Spectrum, and uh, I don't know, dude. I didn't expect this to happen. I'm just going to turn it off. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> you can't really hear it that well, especially in the whole song. But okay, go down to Insert 1, turn your uh, parabolic shaper, Make just put everything at neutral, you know. And then um, here's the cool part. Put, go to the Dimension Expander, 
put the size all the way down. And that just gives it like a more of a stereo sound instead of a mono sound, in my opinion. Go to the EQ, boost your highs a little bit to you know, like make sure, give it like a sparkling sound and boost your lows. These can be like neutral as well. Now go to uh, reverb small. This is one of my secrets. Turn on, draw, make it all the way wet, <laughs> and then go to density, turn on the density all the way, turn on the color all the way. Now go to uh, performer LFO6. Set it to performer and assign it here and make it make it all the way down on your left side. And um make your X sequence fader about in the middle of this the second half, you see? And turn the amp out all the way down. Restart it, make sure the restart is set on and the sync is on. And put it at one fourth. Make sure this is turned all the way up. Uh, this should it should come like that automatically. So that's why I'm not going having like spending too much time over it now you're going to make this all it's very simple to make like this pattern this triangle make two of those and then this other this well this half of a triangle it's like a you know and this is just a regular triangle so put that here put this double triangle here now you it's not even like necessary to do all that but i just do it because like it helps me like when i'm Experimenting. See, the first thing it plays is the first triangle. So I'm curious if you make it like that. See what I'm saying? So, this so you can experiment with it. It sounds really good. But I'm just gonna play it like that. That's the best one. Okay. So you're done with uh, Performer 6. Make sure it's synced to Reverb Small. That's a big part of what makes it sound like it does. <laughs> now you're going to go to... Oh, actually, I want to experiment first. Doesn't really do that much of a difference. You can just... I'm just seeing... I made this program a while ago. But Sorry. I should do this on my own time. <laughs> but um, go to filter one, turn on band reject. Make sure the resonance is in the middle. Make sure this is all the way up. Turn your band width to about 11 o'clock. And uh, turn the uh, cutoff to about, you know, what, seven? Go to envelope three. Select it. And uh, make sure it's all the way to the right side, all the way down. Make sure that this is in the middle. Now here's the cool part. Turn on band reject for this filter too. Make sure it's on, select band reject. Make sure this is up. Usually it's like that, but make sure it's turned up. Do the same thing, except turn your band reject to about one o'clock here. And put this about to one o'clock as well. Select LFO seven. And uh, make sure it's about, <clears throat> make sure the green is on the left side, the gray is on the right side. Try to match this as the best you can. It, it really, if it's not, you can experiment. Oh my gosh! Wow, I hate when this happens. I'm running like a tutorial software. It's like really annoying. I don't think I'll need it anymore. But anyway, <laughs> you go to LFO 7 now, all right? Make sure the restart is on. Just put it on the simple basic patch that's already on. Make sure the amp is all the way on. Make sure the X curve fave is all the way up. Put this to about 1 o'clock, the rate. And that's that. Next, we're almost done here. It's fantastic. Um, You can experiment with, like, moving this around or moving this around as well. I'm not going to do it right now. You can, like, play with it yourself. You can, like, try to get the sound that you think is the best. But now we're going to go to the envelopes and... Envelope one, make sure the attack is all the way down. Make sure the level is all the way down. Put the DK to about 11 o'clock. Put the level all the way up, as you can see, all the way. Make sure the layer is all the way down as well. These You can put this about 6. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 8 o'clock. That looks like 8. I don't know why I said 6. Make sure the level is all the way down too. These don't really matter for this this section. And make sure you assign. We already assigned it to throat and... Elephant. Now go to envelope two. Make sure the attack is all the way down. These are very similar. 
except the DK is different. So for envelope two, make sure this is down, down, all the way up, down. This doesn't really matter. The release shouldn't be crazy, obviously, but it, it's going to come like preset like this. You can just keep it like that. Put the decay at about eight o'clock. Okay, so that's the difference between these two are almost the same, except the the DK is different. Okay, now go to envelope three. Make sure the DK. Well, actually, let me see the difference between these. They're all so similar. It's like really cool. The only thing different is the DK. Okay, so make sure this is down. This is down. Blah, you can match them all except the DK here for envelope three. Put that at about ten o'clock. Yes, ten o'clock. Okay. And let me double check, make sure there's nothing else to do. That should be fine. That should that's that's how you get your sound. Um, yeah. And if you one more thing, go to your visual IQ. What I'm doing now, I haven't put in the sub bass yet, so I just have the bass boosted. But when you like, if you recreate this and use it in a song, you're gonna want to boost the treble and take out the bass all the way and just use a sub bass for the bass. If you understand what I'm saying layer it together like that um you can do it like that or you can just do it like this i mean if if you're using it in a solo way then it can be beneficial you just boost the bass like in this in in the program itself but um that's about it i have a little bit of reverb like 14 percent. that's like barely i just do that sometimes just because um okay and that's how you do that it's thank you for watching this video it was really cool actually because you guys requested it like how do you make this sound i was like oh i can show you how to make this sound <laughs> it was like made me feel really special but yeah um thank you for watching my videos and some people subscribe i thought that was really cool like i really appreciate that but i will keep coming up with new tutorials if there's a sound you ever hear that you want to know how to make i can probably help you out to make that because i'm getting really good at growl basses this is actually a song that's like half a year old so now my new stuff that i haven't even released i've, I've gotten decently well at making vowel basses and stuff using only massive and things like that as you know my inspiration is space laces so i'm like trying to make the stuff he makes i want to figure out how he does that kind of stuff but yeah so i'm going to put my soundcloud and facebook at the bottom and you can put like check those out if you want to figure out what's going on if you want to listen to some of the music i make and uh i'm sorry to ramble on i don't know i'm trying to think i'm gonna put like a preview to another song at the end of this song and you can uh there's a bunch of growl basses in it it's like an electro song and you can like if you want to learn how to make those songs you can message me like on soundcloud or facebook or youtube or whatever but thank you for watching this video uh i um, hope it helped you out and i hope it inspired you to make some sick tunes all right